You're listening to Azeroth Times Classic. I'm Chris, and with me again, Brandon. What's going on, guys? A.K.A. Savage. A.K.A. Shabbos. Val. <laughs> A.K.A. Whisper. What? What'd you say? Ex- exactly. Oh, okay. I, I didn't know I was supposed to whisper that. So, I just realized that my... On the video... I got I got a ICC icon beside mine using the same <laughs> background. <laughs> but oh well, I'll change it next time. Hey, pop pop pass. Yep. Anyway, so I guess I'll say what I've been doing in game, or do you want to go? Because <laughs> I didn't know if you could talk right now. Uh. Really. I mean, we did we did the same thing. We are two shards away from having uh, our resto druids Valinir. So we got two shards left. So this week, when we go in, we're gonna down all the bosses before uh, Yog. We're gonna try to get everything down to see if we can get two shards to drop. So when we go in and do Yog, he'll have it instead of getting the two shards off of Yog and having to wait a whole other week. So uh, maybe we can get lucky. We did go in and finish clearing the rest of it, the three bosses that were left, or they did last night after TLGC. Uh, they went in and cleared the last three bosses, but to no avail because they only did it on easy mode because there was only like 19 of them. So they did Memoron, uh, Iron Council, and Freya uh, with like 19 people and uh, just did it on normal. Uh, and yeah. uh, of course they didn't drop the shards, but whatever. Gotcha. Yeah, well, you know, it was worth you, a try going in put, yeah. you couldn't get one. Yeah. So we're hoping that two shards will drop because we had four drop this week. Uh, so we're hoping two will drop before we get to Yogg. That way he can have it. And then we're starting another one for our other Holy Pally. So looks like I'm I'm still running Old War, which I don't mind. Uh, yeah. I don't mind helping out. I love it. Uh, I just like to raid. And on the two nights that I raid, I like to get as much raiding in as I can. And those are, you know, that's one full night of raiding right there. Um, but then last night, or, you know, last night we went to TOGC or Thursday night, whatever, uh, whenever this comes out, uh, Thursday night we did TOGC and, uh, we gave a noob an hour of prog on a hard mode and we got him to 11%. Cool. So I think next week we will get him down on hard mode. All right. Other than that, like trying him, we're, if we were to one shot him, we'd be 50 out of 50 because we're not wiping oh. on any of the other bosses. We're not wiping on. Um, we're not wiping on faction champions. Like we're blowing that stuff out of the water now. When me and Krieg started to do, um, we started to do our CCs and stuff, uh, cycloning and everything. Um, and our DPS may be low, but we're controlling a mob. We're, we're essentially taking two mobs every fifteen seconds out of the fight for like ten seconds, fifteen seconds. You know, and that's a big. That's a big thing. Yeah. So. You know, we do that. We help with the blowbacks and stuff. So, I mean, we're we're just dominating that. And then, um, of course, la- oh, dude, last night on Twins, I uh, I hit twelve point seven k DPS. I was fifth out of the out of our guild last night. Cool on Twins uh, hard mode on Savage. All right. And uh, dude, that was I had a on a noob for the fight last night on a noob. If we would have went ahead and downed him heroic. I was, at the time that we died, I was parsing a 96. That's super good for me. Yeah. So yeah, if you suck, down, so yeah. It, well, shut your mouth. <laughs> um, so we got, but we did prog him. Um, we have brought in some uh, people from another guild that we're kind of trying to align ourselves with. So maybe we can get two full 25-man teams running in ICC instead of just one. Uh, you know, pr- you know, grouping with them and grouping with us. So we have aligned ourselves with another guild, kind of. Um, we're bringing in some of them. And um, we have a couple of people that have been running with us each week. Join you know, in and guild, follow along as they can. They've been running, you know, they're almost like honorary guild members, so to speak. Oh, cool. Um, they've been running with us each week. So we kind of got a full roster. Um, and we're not a... F- we still have to pug one or two, but it's getting to be a full roster. Um, and we're, so we're getting there. That's more important than almost anything right there. Yeah, so we're, 
we're getting there with that. Um, we'll we'll get there, you know. Um, but uh, I think eleven percent is really good, considering last week it was nineteen percent was our best try. So I think if we go in there and give him another a uh, few, you know, three or four more tries, I think we can get him with the same because we have the same people coming back. Yeah. But that's uh, other than that. I switched one of my characters over to the horde side and went horde with him, um, my shaman. And he's going to go mm -hmm. elemental for horde. And we've got about six people over there that came from, that went from Ironborn. They made um, tunes over there. And uh, we're just going to make our own 10 man team on horde and just mess around on horde side too. Cool. Cute, 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 cute. I have. Been leveling the paladin, <laughs> just like that was last week. But now I was at seventy-seven. I had a vacation, so I'm waiting to get a permanent ban on that one because I was on it every day during my vacation. Uh huh. So <laughs> yeah, I played a lot during my vacation, so I'm just waiting on that ban. Did you do the damn it? Did you do the actual quest, or did you get boosted? No, oh, I'm doing quest. So, yeah. Um, other than that, I'm still getting benched in the, the new guild. I, it's like I joined the guild because they were wanting me to go enhancement. And they were going to start getting me gear. They got me a bunch of gear. And then they quit putting me in. So, might be looking for another one. <laughs> Have you asked them why yet? Uh, no, because... Uh, they should be telling me. Probably because I haven't been on. <laughs> I was gonna say. I uh, think you kind of gotta ask. Yeah, but uh, you have I, to be more vocal, bro. Well, I know, but I'm not ever on, so that could be one reason why I'm not playing. That's why I'm probably getting benched. But yeah, but it is what it is. After I get my paladin leveled up, I'll probably be on both of them a lot. I hope. I'm going to probably uh, get into a GDKP and get some gear. And I'll probably be doing heroics and stuff like that. So, I'm going to try to gear I've, this paladin up. I've been working that way with Val as well. Um, still not quite there. But, I mean, I'm still, I'm not even 4K gear score yet. Like 3,700. Well, one of two things is going to happen. I'm either going to swap my shaman for the paladin and start taking with the paladin in the guild. Or two, I'm going to come back on my shaman and hopefully start running. Get it some get better gear because the gear just sucks. It's good gear, gear score wise, but it's not shaman gear, so it sucks. <coughs> yeah. So, uh, if my paladin runs with the guild, the shaman will become a GDKP, hopefully. I just need to work on her to get some gear. Do you want me or, to play the character a or, couple times and get some parses? Or vice versa. Oh, it's not the part, it's the gear just sucks. I can't really... Well, no, but in order, to get into GD, and in order to get into the GDKPs, like Pagel's Best and stuff, you have to be vetted. In order to be better, you have well, to. Well, if I'm a buyer, parts. if I'm a buyer, I don't. Oh well, yeah. If you're a buyer, that's a different story. That's what I was talking about get, being a buyer. And uh, if not, then I'll. It, uh, after I get gear, then that tune will become a GDKP runner and get so I can get make gold. So. And, uh, Man, I'm afraid. I'm afraid when I see uh, when ICC comes out. Um what's going to happen with GDKPs then. Because you know ICC is like a fucking nine hour raid. Yep. <laughs> so I, I just wonder if they're going to break it down in dungeons like they did in retail. I don't think so. We'll see. I don't know either, but... I mean, it is what it is. I kind of hope they, they do, do, they do, but... Oh, well, I don't, because what about those people who can go in and clear those first four or five bosses? Then, then you're done. just kind of, well, what do I do the rest of the time? <laughs> then they're done. I mean, you get all you get all hyped up. That's like getting all worked up for a Wagyu steak, and you walk in, and they give you a Dollar Tree steak. Like, you can't do that. 
What's wrong with the dollar? I'm all stuff? hyped up for I'm all hyped up for Wagyu, and you give me you give me a pork chop. Like that's not cool. <laughs> hey, is that a shot at me? Kind of. <laughs> <laughs> uh, story is, I used to hey, I would go buy a steak, and I would bring home pork chops. He goes to say it's not a steak, this is a pork chop. Same thing. No, it's not. I know it's not, but dang it, I'm sorry. I brought steaks one time and cooked them, and they were really good. Yes, you did. You're going to have to do that again. I mean... Uh. <laughs> uh. So, that's about it. And there's no news for a while. At least nope. none that we can find. So, tonight's going to be a short one. We're going to go into the next boss at ICC, and then we'll be done. Yeah, next boss at ICC is Deathbringer Sourfang. I had it pulled up, and it's gold. So he's after, he's like, he's like, actually, it's crazy. There's no trash in between him and gunship at all. You hop yeah, off a gunship and bam. When you get off the gunship, there's a little portal uh, thing to where you can port there or whatever if you wipe i think it's activated potter after you get off the gunship i could be wrong it is. yeah after you after you defeat gunship because it's yeah. kind of the it's almost like a staging area before yeah. you go to the next boss like you can stop there now i think they actually call that like the end of the first area end of the first wing more yeah. or less i mean cuz that really the fights that you're doing are not even in ICC. And you know there's one we forgot. Do you remember if you did the outside ring before gunship in order, then you fought a dragon? If you what? If you did the, you know the outer ring where we do gunship battle? Yeah. If you fought those in a specific order, there was a dragon that you could spawn that was an event dragon. I don't remember that ever. Yeah, the, yeah. there's a, I looked it up. I'll have to, uh, I will find information on it before next episode. That way we can bring it up and tell people what's up with it. Yeah, because I've seen dragons, but they're always there. So. Yeah, no, this is a big one. It's an event dragon that spawns right before you can get on your ship. And uh, you have to kill him in order to get on your ship. He's kind of like a mini boss, but he does drop loot. And not, not the. I don't think it's... I think it's like a loot table that's kind of not the best, but it could be an upgrade. Okay. One of those niche bosses that you don't have to fight. It just I think it's optional. Okay, so you get off the gunship. Make sure you grab the chest. There's a chest. Make let only the person who is doing loot get the chest, though. Uh, make do you have to unequip your backpack or jetpack? Yes, because it goes in your shirt or something. It goes in one slot. So you need to. I believe as soon as you leave the ship, it comes off of you. Like, yeah, take but, it away from you. but if it's a shirt, you know, oh well if you do, no well if you don't. Because shirt doesn't give you stats, but... Yeah. And then as soon as you get off, there's that little ring like an, like an older wire where you can port to it. And then uh, you kind of stay back, get everybody ready. There's got to be two tanks, if I remember correctly. And uh, so. so make sure you're both ready. And whenever you start, you're going to run in together. And his health points, or there's a little cinematic of him walking out and talking to there's like Yeah, there's like a little, there's like a little RP. Yeah. And he's got 43,926,752 health points. His abilities consist of Mark... Of the fallen champion, which causes Deathbringer Sourfing melee attacks to splash to this target, dealing additional physical damage. If the target dies while under this effect, Sourfang is healed for 5% of his total health, cannot be dispelled or removed by any means, including death. So, if a couple people start to die, and he gets 5% of his health back, each person. Yep. So, if five people die, he gets a quarter of his health back. So, uh, 
don't die. Yep. It, it's also got uh, boiling blood. Boiling blood. That's how I, think it I think it's supposed to be boiling blood, yeah. Boils the blood of an enemy inflicting 5,000 physical damage every three seconds for 15 seconds. So that's 5,000 damage. 5, so, 10, 15. So there's about 15,000. Yeah, that's 15,000 damage all together. Oh, no. Three seconds for 15 seconds. That's 5,000 oh. 5, damage. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I was thinking three times. Yep. Yeah. So, yeah, that's that's a, that's a helpful. Yeah. You just got to heal them. So, if you get it, say, hey, I got uh, boiling blood. Heal, heal, heal. And then uh, he also has a rune of blood. <laughs> it says DBS. I think it's supposed to be DPS. Yeah. Leech's health when he performs melee attacks on targets marked with rune of blood. Leech's 5,950 to 8,050 health and heals Sour Fang for 20 times that amount. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, so, can you get that off? Or <laughs> no, it, it, I'll, I'll, it's in the strategy. I'll let you. Know. Okay, and then a uh, call blood beast, and it calls some blood beast, and I think the DPS just more. Uh, it probably says that in the strategy if they uh, are tauntable or not. It does. Okay, because I think they're not, but I could be wrong, or I don't know. I'll let you deal the strategy. Go ahead. All right, so the strategy of this boss is the first thing, the key to the fight is raid positioning. Since most of your raid can pretty much stay in the same place for the whole fight, it'd be best if everyone to find a position before the fight and stick to it. So you just want to kind of spread out. Stick to one position. Since the boiling blood can hit several targets in the same area at once, you should spread out so that two players at most can get hit by boiling blood at the same time. Spread out into two groups and keep enough distance between them after your raid is, is, is in position and everyone is ready, <clears throat> you can start the event. So you can start the event after you get spread out. You can set up before you even start the event because you have to actually click on the guy to start it. Yeah. So you can set your groups up. You can uh, set them up in positions to where they're around. That's where, right. I forgot about yeah. that. Depending on your faction, this event can be very annoying. Alliance players don't have to care. Don't have to. Let's see. Alliance players don't have to care. The wait time is very short. But Horde players have to wait nearly two minutes and go through some role-playing event. As mentioned above, the fight is extremely static, and you should have enough time to react to anything important in the fight. Forget uh, forget a DPS check and race. Um, it was all that. You know, it was all a race and DPS check until now. The two tanks have to watch their debuffs to the Rune of Blood and instantly taunt after this is applied to one of them. So if one of them gets the uh, the Rune of Blood, which is the DPS leech, when he hits them, the other taunt, the other tank has to taunt and take it because he doesn't have the debuff. And it goes back and forth like that until the debuff comes on that tank and then the, the starting tank tanks it again. It's uh, back and forth. So you got to keep swapping back and forth. And this is, like I said, is important for two reasons. The faster... The faster generation, uh, the faster generation of blood of power and the healing Sarfang takes from his from hits, he does on the tank with the debuff. If the reaction time of one tank is bad, or you have a taunt resist and don't manage it, the next mark of the fallen champion is applied sooner to the, to one of the players in the raid. The most difficult part for the healer is mark of the fallen champion. You have to make a healer assignment for each mark before you start the fight. As usual, your healers have to take care of the tanks and the raid. The primary job of the healers is to watch over players with boiling blood, which lasts 15 seconds. With power, uh, power word shield is also very good for avoiding damage as a debuff ticks and preventing Sarfang from generating blood of power. Oh, that's good. The tank healers, mostly paladins, should have one eye on the blood of power bar of Sarfang. As mentioned above, more blood power means he does more damage. Try to refresh things like beacon or abilities with similar duration during a fight. Like uh, any kind of rejuice, regross, anything like that, you'll want to re you'll want to uh, bring those up. Uh, you'll want to refresh them as much as possible because you'll want those abilities uh, during the phase with low blood power. So <clears throat> push out full healing with every global during high blood power phases. The damage dealers in the raid also have things to do. Approximately every 35 seconds, five blood beasts spawn around Sarfang. They must be killed as fast as possible. They move around very fast, and they shouldn't be allowed to reach someone in your raid. 
The main reason for this is in hard mode is a debuff called Scent of Blood. It increases the damage of the Blood Beast deal by 300% and decreases the movement speed of all raid members by 80%. This means one hit is deadly for sure. So to, to avoid this, make use of every snare and knockback mechanic you have in your raid. There are many ways to handle this. Chains of Ice, you've got Frost Trap from a Hunter, you've got the blowback mechanic from a Druid, you've got the blowback mechanic from another Druid, you have a stun from Warlocks, that they can do if they're demo spec. Um, you know, and then again, it does call for chains of ice. You have uh, shamans that can throw down um, whatever the hell totem it is that makes you walk like your feet are in the mud. Do fire mages uh, have like the fire blast or something? That... Some of them might have the blowback ability there. Um, shamans also have the ability that we call thunderfuck, which just knocks everything <laughs> away from you. <laughs> okay. So there's. There's many a different, you know, things that you can do. So for that, plus what you should do is it says here, classes that have a taunt ability can play around with the ads before they reach a player at 30. So if you have a taunt ability, taunt it back. You know, if it's getting close to somebody, taunt it away from them. Make it come towards you if you're further away. Or shamans um, can drop their uh, their taunting earth elemental. Token. Yeah, yeah, well, the earth elemental could even do it. Yeah, for sure. So there's many things you can do. And it's at 30%, Sarfang goes into a frenzy, increasing his attack speed by 30%. This means he does a ton more damage. To go through this phase very fast, make uh, heroism. Right right then, when he, when he gets to 30%, pop heroism. If you've done everything right and your raid DPS is not below average, Sarfang should be dead within two to three minutes. Or, or within two or three Mark of the Fallen Champions. Because what he's going to do is he's going to put Mark of the Fallen Champion on your main tank. Okay. Or this is the one that causes causes death Deathbringer Starfang's melee attacks to splash to the tar to this target, dealing additional physical damage. The target die. Okay, so the mark of the fallen champion is the one that where he hits a tank, it's going to splash to whoever also has the mark. So I'm thinking, if you get the mark, there should be a place for you to run to where you're not near anybody else, so it doesn't splash onto you and somebody else. I'm thinking that would that would be the best thing, but. You want to kill him before he gets two to three of those out. Because once he gets like three of them out, man, that's hitting you. That's hitting the tank. Plus, it's hitting three other players at the same time. The healers are trying to keep up with. Plus, yeah. the damage he's doing to the main tank. So, it's a lot of damage. So, you want your DPS to be high. You want to kill him as fast as possible. At 30%, you really got to burn him down because he's really going to start doing damage to everyone. I don't know that the Mark of the Fallen Champion ever comes off. I think it stays on for the duration of the fight or until you die. So. Was that um, the one that stayed? Uh, that's yeah, the one that. Cannot that be dispelled or yep. removed by any means, including death. Yep. Yep. So, so even, if, can't you, even if you it. die. Yep, you can't ice block it. You can't. Yeah. Uh, can't. Whatever the thing is that rogues do because they're evil and they can remove everything, you can't do that. <laughs> Cloak of Shadows. Uh, you can't do that. You oh, can't. Nothing. Yeah. yeah. Nothing. Nothing will work. No, nothing will work. Once you've been marked for death. Yeah, you're marked for death. Like it's pretty much over at that point. It's like you better get healed. <laughs> so, um, I think that's where a lot of help with um, having two, a couple of Valonirs, maybe even three, but for sure having a Paladin with it and a Druid with it, because Druids they're gonna. The, the little shield will proc off of their off of their uh, their ticks. Every tick has a chance to pop a bubble. Yeah. If it does that, boom. I mean, dude, there's there, there could be bubbles all over the place. Because I know sometimes when uh, when just soul is healing, there's bubble. There's four or five, six bubbles out. <laughs> it's it's crazy. That's good. It's so different to see. But yeah, this yeah. fight. Um, it's not easy. It's going to be your first challenge through ICC, I think. This I think, will be your first, uh, your first real challenge. After you get to get started and get to this boss and defeat it, I think that should be uh, <coughs> a good break time. <laughs> yeah, yeah, probably so. Because I, I do was, remember we took a lot of breaks right after mm -hmm. this guy. And uh, uh, Sarfang, Sarfang is he's he's tough. And I, re I do remember <coughs> playing him a lot as Horde, and it that's why I was thinking it took a. a a little bit for cinematic, uh, excuse me, yep. and that's why. <laughs> so, 
All right. Well, I think that's it for this week. Next week, uh, we're going to be doing something new that we could talk about. Do you? Remember? Oh yeah. Do you remember? Next week is uh, hardcore. Yep. 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 Yeah. So we we'll, we can we'll actually have new stuff to talk about. So I'm gonna I'm really thinking about doing it. I just keep changing my mind on what I'm gonna make. So. I'm making a mage. That's what I was thinking about. So, I'm, I'm making uh, a fire mage. Uh, well, we can make something different if we're going to play it. Because I'm playing. I mean, I'm playing with somebody else with a fire mage, or I'm playing with myself with a fire mage. So, if well, you want I was actually mage, thinking can... about either a priest, mage, or what was the other one? Hell, I might even do a warrior just so I can tank if I wanted to. But there's certain people that I'm not running with. I know. <laughs> I know. I don't think you have to worry about that. But anyways, all right. So until next week, have fun playing the game. As always. All right, we got some news for you. Before we end the podcast, we're actually on a different day, but we recorded last night and we found some breaking news. We thought we'd come to you today. And uh, we found out more about Hardcore. Yeah, yeah. There was a video of the, um, I guess, Blizzard host, the host of the live chat with the developers, Josh Greenfield, Anna Resendez. Nora Valetti and Tim Jones, and they were taking questions from the you know the community council. They talked about some topics about hardcore, some about classic Growl and Wrath Classic. I wanted to talk to you about what they've done in hardcore. A few things. Um, one of the things that they they did say is death messages, like uh, when you die and it, it announces it. Um, there were server wide messages. Well, death messages are only going to be limited to guilds. And it says there are no plans to expand beyond that, but the team is open to making adjustments in the future. So oh, okay. um, I like that. I think that's good. It's not going to spam your chat with a whole bunch of craziness because people just like to see their name up. They make some stupid name and then they die just so they can see it. In the end there. So uh, it'll yeah. stop it from that. Um, another thing I thought was really cool is Cobalt Miner. <laughs> yeah, I, saw, that's what I was just laughing at. Kills. Uh, that's pretty funny. That's, I, uh, that's one reason why I hate caves. Go in a cave. Those cobalt yeah. miners spawn quick. Yeah, they do. They do. And it's, it's actually funny that that's, uh, that's the NPC with the most kills. Yeah. These people are dying in the uh, beginning areas. Yeah. Uh, kind of crazy. So. What is um, Solo Self self self-found? Found? So, what Solo Self Found is, is you do everything yourself. Uh, anything that you pick up. Anything that you can make, or anything that you get as a drop, um, or anything that you buy from a vendor, is the only things you can use. Uh, you don't do dungeons, you don't do group quests. Everything is solo, self-found, which means you have to find it or do it. Okay. There might that might be even you can't um, buy anything from a vendor either. Uh, like, but I don't I don't think that's what it is. I just think it's. You can't group that, with it. More or less, you can't group with it. Everything you do is solo. So, if you can't talk to a vendor, then you can't... You just destroy everything in your bag and not well, no, sell well, it? I well, that's, I think that's what it is. You can you can still buy stuff from vendors and you can still sell stuff. But you can't do... I think mainly everything you do has to be solo. Okay. You can't have a group or you can't group with it. So, they say solo self-found won't be available at launch, but Blizzard is looking into making a self-found without solo the issue with creating a solo cell phone mode it would be it would have a series of caveats to group up for dungeons or elite mobs or so on and he expands further on that on twitter but think with if, if i'm taking this correctly they're thinking about making a self found but it won't be solo because 
within this self found, there's things that you're going to have to do that require you to be in a group. Yeah, like dungeons so, and yeah, so elite probably, mobs and. <clears throat> there's probably not. <clears throat> there's probably not going to be any trading. Like trading will probably be something that you can't do in self found. Um, but as far as grouping up, it looks like you're going to be able to group up. So. Uh, this says additional cloning services for classic era characters are just not likely to happen. Yeah. I'm not for sure. I guess that means in classic era when they do a new season or something, you won't be able to clone. I don't know what cloning is. That's, I, that's I the only thing that. I'm thinking that it might mean. <laughs> they said uh, Blizzard developers think Classic Plus is interesting. You know, in yeah. interesting. There will be another season for WoW Classic, and it's not going to be Season of Mastery 2. So, uh, Last thing I wanted to touch on is something that I've been wondering for a while, but they said achievements and transmogs, or transmogrification, if you don't know what that is. That's where you can make your gear look like other yeah, gear. Yeah, we don't know what it what yeah. it is right now. What are you but talking achievements about? Achievements and transmogrifications aren't something Blizzard is planning to add to Classic Era, which that makes me yeah. I'm happy with that. Yeah. Because Classic Era is Classic Era. And there's it a reason to transmog just, your gear in Classic Era because you uh, it's, the gear. It, everything's it's, it's still, classic. It, yeah. There's no reason why you want to make it look like something else. <laughs> yeah. it's it's. I don't think that's... Like, people want transmog to look like the old gear, not make the old gear look like old gear because exactly. it's already old gear. To me, Tier 3 is the best looking set any characters have, and you can no longer get it in Wrath. So, it has to be done in Classic. Yeah. And to me, if you reach the pinnacle of getting your Classic Tier 3 gear, why do you want a transmog to look like something <laughs> Also, so we found out Blizzard is develop developing random dungeon fighter and default quest helper for Wrath Classic. So, so they're doing what they said they weren't going to do, and they're developing but, it. But check this out. This is when they. Oh wait a minute! They said they're developing. So is it going to be it's, like it it's was? Happening. It's it's happening. What they're doing is they're making it. I guess they're probably going to have to change the coding a little bit because we have alpha and beta as well. So they're probably going to do it to where you cannot have access to alpha or beta. It's only going to be normal and heroic. And then you oh. treat alpha and beta like mythic pluses in... Oh, that, that's actually... I, for, I wasn't thinking about that. When you said alpha beta earlier offline, I didn't know what the hell you're talking about. It just dogged on me that they got oh, the yeah. heroic plus plus or whatever. Yeah. So what you probably do is treat those like mythic pluses in retail when they came out, and you still form. They the might have a different drop down for it. You know I don't how think they'll do it at all. You know how they have uh, normal dungeons, and then they have another drop down menu for heroic. I wonder if they're adding. Alpha, beta, or whatever you want to call See, but it. that gives you a chance at that point. That would give you a chance to but get somebody like a 3100 gear score. Does normal, does normal have keys? I don't think it has a drop-down menu for how many keys. So, yeah, no. I think they should actually only use Random Dungeon Finder for normal and heroic and not plus. I think that's what they're going. That's what I was. Saying. I that's think they saying. should. I yeah, I, I know I that's what you're saying, will. but yeah, I think that's what they should do. And, and if you, you want to do plus, then find a group. Then yeah, and you still form your own group. For you can still use plus. the dungeon finder, but not the random dungeon finder. I don't. I wonder what they're talking about with default quest helper. Don't, oh, uh, they're just going to put something like Questy into the game rather than having to use Questy? I'm guessing. Because didn't it used to be like something used to be called Quest Helper or something like that? When I originally played this game in the original, original beta where 40 was the max level you could get, yeah. there was no Quest Helper. There was oh. no Helper. Oh, no. You read There's... the quest and you did them. Yeah. You, you just randomly figured out where shit was at. Yep. Like we didn't have... And if something dropped that had a quest on it, nobody knew what the hell you're talking yeah. about. Because so, <laughs> the crazy thing is, now I don't think I could play the game without Quest Helper because I'm not used to that whole running around and looking for the quest thing. Yeah. 
I mean, I know from 1 to 20, I can do that probably sleeping. I almost know how many steps it takes to get to each part of that because I've done it so many times. Yeah. But after that, I'm lost. This sucks. Bludger would not be releasing information regarding the number of hardcore realms, the realm names, or allowed name reservation. It kind of sucks, but, you know, it is what it is. That's that's good. That's I like that because uh, I don't care. <laughs> yeah. Like when, when they pop up and they say, hey, I, "Guess what?" I in, want five. I would like to in, know the number of hardcore realms and the realm well, names. In, in in five more in five more days, it doesn't matter. I'm getting on. Well, the- actually, wouldn't they put hardcore on the you know where it says PvP or PVE or they'd put a hardcore there? We'll we'll know how many hardcore realms. No, it's gonna be no. It's gonna be. I wonder if it's going to be completely separate from. It's going to be completely separate from classic. I would bet. You're not going to play classic so. and then choose between hardcore. And I don't hardcore. think so. Because oh, they're well, going, yeah, they're right. going to, they're going to let you transfer your tunes from hardcore to. You're right. So they'll so, what they'll do is they'll, you're right. They'll put hardcore beside a, uh, beside the. Uh, yeah. The, that's what I think they should do. I'm not saying that's what they're going to do because yeah, we don't know. Right. We'll find out in five days. Yeah. In five days. I don't know that I'm going to log on completely in five days because it's going to be so congested. You're not going to be able to do a quest. I want to log on just to see all the people going nuck and futz. Yep. And I think I think that's when I'll uh, I'll fire the Twitter back. Or that's when I'll fire the uh, Twitch back. Yeah. And uh, I need to do that anybody, too. And for anybody so. who listens to this, once I figure out how to stream on Kick, I'm going to Kick, and that's where I'll be permanent. Oh, I am streaming on Kick. Oops, sorry. I need to, you need to, we need to have a talk one of the, uh, here before long so I can figure out how to work up the Okay. All right, so that's the end, and goodbye. Bye. You can reach us at email heartlandpae at gmail.com for questions or comments, and we might read it on the air.